Tell you that they love you when they never mean it. True love come from God in the name of Jesus. Turn right back on the king, I committed treason. Thank God he forgives and I was named a preacher. I'm screaming Jesus. What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Do all that good stuff. It helps my channel grow. Um, I love talking NBA content, NFL content. Um, you know, I like talking about free agent signings, big trades, big scenarios, team rebuilding. Um, I love talking about stuff like that. I love talking about talent and development. And that's just my thing, guys. I love talking um, NBA. Um, today, I want to talk about the Chicago Bulls, my favorite team. Um, you know, it seems like the Chicago Bulls, um, you know, organization has been, you know, we've been in shambles for the last four years. I mean, the way the Chicago Bulls seasons has ended has been tragic, guys, you know, losing in the playing games. Um, I believe the last time we made the playoffs, we faced the Bucks and we lost 4-1. It was almost like, why the heck did we even make the playoffs if we didn't even compete, you know? So it's been a rock. It's been some rocky years for the Chicago Bulls, guys. And this offseason is going to be very important for the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls have to shake up a lot of things this summer. You know, there's a bunch of different opportunities, um, different choices, different ways that the Bulls can, um, you know, roster can rebuild. Um, it kind of just starts at point guard. I love Kobe White and what he's doing. Um, you know, we're looking at DeRozan and Levine. We know that they're the top stars. And a lot of us was hopeful, you know. A lot of us was hoping that, you know, they can carry this Bulls team to compete in for, for playoffs. And it just seems like, you know, this team is just not orchestrated behind DeRozan and Levine to really grow and elevate this team. I mean, I feel like they don't really have a lot of dark horses. You know, when you look at the Chicago Bulls roster, there's still a lot of a lot of gaps in this team. And there's still just a lot of uncertainty. I think if that's the best word to use, there's just so much uncertainty when you think of the Chicago Bulls. I mean, I mentioned Kobe White, but then we got Lonzo Ball coming back. You know, how is that going to work out? Um, you know, we have Patrick Williams. Um, you know, he was a first round draft pick. You know, are we going to help develop him? Should we re-sign him? Should we bring him back? I mean, that those are question marks. Um, you know, Dale and Terry, a guy that we drafted. And I'm wondering, when is he going to get playing time? When is he going to see instant minutes? We talk about the center position. Um, you know, who's going to be at center for the Chicago Bulls next season? You know, who's going to be a rim protector? What is Chicago going to do? Is Adam Sonogo, is he going to come from the G League team? Is he going to really you know, get minutes for Chicago and produce and, and get those instant minutes next season. I mean, there's just so much question marks on what the Chicago Bulls should do. But I do think that the Bulls need to go after another all-star caliber player. And the guy that I'm looking at is Brandon Ingram, guys. That would be a really good move if the Bulls can go after Brandon Ingram. Um, you know, looking at Brandon Ingram's career with the Pelicans, I mean, he's been carrying that franchise for the last five, six years. Um, he's been an extraordinary player ever since he came out of Duke. Brandon Ingram has been a instant. He's been a scoring machine. And I think that is what the Chicago Bulls should look for in this upcoming offseason. The Bulls should look for a small forward wing caliber kind of player. Um, I know he's similar to DeMar DeRozan. I mean, if I had to make a comparison, I think that's a good comparison, you know, Brandon Ingram is a mid-range shooter. You know, he has a good pull-up game. Um, you know, he can catch and shoot. Um, he can shoot the three ball. Um, you know, he can drive to the lane with, you know, with his length. Um, this guy's really lengthy. He can shoot over defenders. Um, you know, he can play that one-on-one -on -one, um, iso ball. You know, he can get a bucket when we need him. And that's something that the Bulls is, is missing. You know, besides, you know, Levine and DeRozan, we know what they do. But outside of that, the Bulls don't really have another player um, that can score on that kind of level. And especially being at 6'8", you know. So I think a good trade scenario would be for the Chicago Bulls to trade Levine to the Pelicans for Brandon Ingram. And Zach Levine, I mean, when you look at that contract, he signed with the Bulls for two more seasons, I believe. And for 2025, he's owed $43 million for twenty. No, for 2024 he's owed 20 43 million for 2025 he's owed 45 million and for 20 the 2026 season he's owed 48 million so that's a lot of money in cap space and i think if the bulls was to make that transition and make that trade for brandon ingram um i think that would definitely save a lot of, a lot of cap for the chicago bulls and also i mean if they was to do that trade for brandon ingram he only has 36 million dollars left on his contract for one year for this 2024 season so one thing is the Bulls, will, it'll basically be like a tryout season. You know, if, if Brandon Ingram is playing on the Chicago Bulls, and let's just say he's clicking with Kobe White, you know, that's a good duel. Let's say Lonzo comes back and he's healthy and he's diamond assists and things are kind of coming together and Brandon Ingram 
is is averaging about 19 to like 20 points per game, then I think it'll be a good deal. I think that would be a good move if Chicago can replace Zach Levine with another perimeter all-star caliber player. Um, and again, it would be a lot more cheaper. I mean, we would just owe, we would just buy out the rest of his contract at 36 million. Then we can refresh and, and revamp a, new, a whole new contract for him if he wanted to stay. If we wanted to extend that. Um, I do think that that would be a good trade scenario for Zach Levine. Um, when you look at the Pelicans, is it possible? Now, the Pelicans, they have, you know, Zion Williams and Brendan Ingram as their two star players. Um, and it looks like the Pelicans, I mean, if phones are being called for a trade for Brendan Ingram, I do think that, you know, the Pelicans, they, they might pull the plug and they may ride with Zion Williams and then he can get that max um, deal, that max contract. So, I mean, this is a high possibility, guys. You know, I, I've heard rumors about Brendan Ingram being shopped around. I mean, he has been shopped around. I believe he was traded from the Lakers. So, I think, you know, the Bulls should really make a splash to get Brandon Ingram. You know, I love it. I love what he does on the court as far as his scoring ability. I think he would be a perfect fit. And if it was to be Kobe White, Brandon Ingram, and DeMar DeRozan, I think that's that trio right there can do some special things. And that can be the start of something in the future. And I know the Bulls have the 11 pick. So, I mean, you know, the Bulls can can kind of revamp this offense a little bit. But like I mentioned, it's just so much uncertainty. But I think if there was one target the Bulls should go after, it would have to be DeMar DeRozan, guys. Um, I love his game. Um, just what he brings to the table with his scoring ability is something Chicago really needs. Because Chicago, we're, we're a defensive team. When you look at, um, you know, a lot of players we do have, Torrey Craig, um, Patrick Williams, you know, these guys are not... You know, these guys still need to develop their offensive game. Javon Green, you know, these are guys that need to develop their, their game. So, I mean, there's so much players on this roster I can get into in depth. But I think adding another score to Chicago would be really beneficial. And I think it would really help this core develop and grow. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, how do you guys feel about a trade for Brandon Ingram, you know, how do you guys feel about Brandon Ingram? Do you think this is possible? Do you think the Pelicans will keep him in Zion, or do you think they're going to trade one of, one of those? I mean, there's just so many scenarios, but this is just one video so far that I'm doing just before the summer and everything opens up. I'm going to be doing a lot more content, talking a lot of, about a lot more trade scenarios. I definitely want to get into the Chicago Bulls because I don't think this is going to be the same roster we're going to see next year. So with that being said, I hope everyone's having a good day. God bless. I love you all. Peace. I can tell you that they love you when they never mean it. True love come from God in the name of Jesus. Turn right back on the king, I committed treason. Thank God he forgives us, name a preacher, screaming Jesus.